Hello, Faith Kickery here, wishing you a great Christmas season and Happy New Year. Today, we're gonna to be talking about epiphany. Have you ever heard that word before? Epiphany, can you say it? Epiphany, the light of the world. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus. And when we see lights, maybe like the, the star you have on your tree, or maybe you have an angel on your tree that lights up or your Christmas lights or the sun. Plants need the sun to grow. Jesus is the light and he wants us to be a light too. Join me for today's children's message. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see, they all gather together. They come to you. Hey everybody! Merry Christmas from Amanda Newell. I attend First United Methodist Church in Lancaster. So welcome to my home. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the lights. And uh, that's something I want to mention. The light. God talks about light and other people in the Bible mention light all throughout it. They're not talking about these lights though. They're talking about the light that is Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world, is what the Bible says. And he wants us to be a light for him, shining out into the world in the way that we react to things, in the way that we talk to one another, and in the way that we treat other people. So go out there in the world, be a light, and Merry Christmas, everybody. We need light in our lives. We need Jesus, the light of the world in our lives in order to be truly alive. Epiphany has to do with love, the love of God, who sent his son into the world to bring us light. That's what Epiphany is all about.